to our show. We are in the middle of round two, welcoming back our winning team. Did you see our last show with Hershey and Bermudian Springs? Bermudian Springs was victorious, and they're going to return for round three. I wonder what today will bring with Spring Grove and Middletown. They know how to play, they know how to win, so let's get them to work right now with today's opening round. Ten-point question, one big brain buster, thanks to our friends at Turkey Hill. Welcome back, pick up your signaling buttons, and let's use them frequently, beginning now with this ten-point question. In this sport, you are given a yellow card for vicious or unsportsmanlike conduct. A red card gets you booted from the game. What sport is it, Mike? Soccer. Soccer, of course, for ten points. In Seattle, Washington, they celebrate Indig Indigenous Peoples Day. What holiday did the rest of us celebrate on the third month, John? Columbus Day. Columbus Day that we celebrated on the third Monday in October. She led so many people to the promised land that she was called Moses. Who was this con Adam? Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was the conductor on the Underground Railroad, yes. What seven-letter word can follow national, civil, insanity, and zone? Oh, we stumped you on the fence. Written about 1350, this collection of 100 stories may have been Chaucer's model for the Thompson Canterbury Tales. No, sorry, may have been Chaucer's model Middletown for the Canterbury Tales. What is this literary classic? Oh, we stumped you on the Decameron as the correct title. They are dirty snowballs of ice and frozen gases trailing look at them. Comets. Comets. Trailing long tails of gas and debris. These astronomical objects are, of course, comets. The major league record of 2,632 consecutive games played over more than 16 years is held by this former Baltimore Oriole. Who is he, Thompson? Cal Ripken. Cal Ripton, of course. It has an eagle on the front, and on the reverse it has a pyramid with an eye on top. Adam. Great seal of the United States. The great seal is the symbol of the United States. Yes, the first U.S. intercontinental ballistic missile. A mountain range in Africa. The Titan who held up the heavens. A book of maps. Adam again. Atlas. Atlas is what they're all called. And now it's time for the Big Brain Buster brought to you by Turkey Hill. For 10 points and a gift certificate for Turkey Hill ice cream for everyone on the team. The suffix itis indicates an inflammation. Inflammation of this internal organ is called nephritis. What organ is it? Oh, we stumped you on the kidney. The nephrons are the filtering units in the kidneys. So we're going to carry those ice creams over to the next game. Consider the following lines of poetry by William Blake. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What name is given to two rhyming lines like these? Adam. Couplet. They are all couplets, yes. This Italian physicist invented the first battery. In his honor, the standard Adam again. Volta. Volta, yes, and the standard international unit of electromotive force is named for him. And Adam answered correctly, Volta. During the American Revolution, they were colonists who supported the British government. Thompson. Lewis. No, sorry. Now, Middletown, they're members of Britain's Conservative Party. What name do they share, John? Tories. They are all Tories, yes. In the 1950s, he invented a plastic disposable pen, then a plastic disposable lighter, then a plastic disposable razor. Who is this polluter? Oh, we stumped you on Bick, Baron Marcel Bick. For more than 2,300 miles, it runs through Australia, Chile, Brazil. What is this line of latitude, 23 degrees, 26 minutes south of the equator? Adam. Tropic of Capricorn. Tropic of Capricorn is correct. It's the layer of the Earth's atmosphere where most of the day-to-day -day weather occurs. What layer is closest to... Adam. Troposphere. The troposphere is the layer that's closest to the Earth. Yes, it was launched in 1980. We won't get to that question or any more questions in that round because that sound takes us to the end of our first round and to our first break. We're going to catch our breath and get ready for the one-on-one -on -one rapid fire while you watch these messages. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you're having as much as fun as, as we are watching these young people play, and especially when they're coming back because they know how to play and they certainly know how to win. And that's thanks in large part to the great coaching that they receive. Let's meet our coaches and alternates before we return to the match. First, over at Spring Grove Area High School. Hi, I'm Benet Hoffnagel, and I teach history, global studies currently, and also the gifted program. I'm Nicole Garlicker. I'm in the gifted program, too. I teach French and biology. Well, you uh, ladies are definitely gifted <laughs> teachers, I know. And thanks for bringing such a great uh, team to Studio A. Next to you 
is an alternate first time year. Mark Brusikowski, and you are a junior. You're interested in studying film? Or are you interested in writing film, directing, producing? Well, I'm already starting on some scripts for several films, but eventually I want to become a director. Well, it's so easy to make films today with all of us with our cell phones, so you can get started at any time. I hope you're filming us. <laughs> well, nice to have you here. And now let's, uh, from Middletown, let's meet our three coaches. Hi, my name is Tiffany Shell. I teach AP Biology. I'm in regular biology as well. I'm Beth Gannon, and I teach English. And I'm Jenny Wenark. I teach biology and zoology. And it's great to have you here. And then tell us who you are. I'm Lydia Hirsch. No, Hirsch, that name sounds familiar <laughs> because you are related to the captain. We're twins. You're twins. Now, what's it like growing up as a twin? I mean, are you in the same grade? We are in the same grade. It's unique from, I think, single siblings. But you guys, you get, you get along and you support each other. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it's great to have you here. Let's get back to work. It's now time for today's one-on-one -on -one rapid fire. Now, Spring Grove has a slight lead of 90 to Middletown 30, but everything can change as we put our individual players against each other. So first, let's head out to Spring Grove. We're going to say hello once again to uh, Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt. Why, Bill? And you are a junior, and it's great to welcome you back. And you have an interesting hobby. You collect uh, or work with model railroads? Yes. Um, I've sort of grown up with it ever since I was, ever since I was born. My father has been collecting antique, antique railroad memorabilia, as well as I do some modeling with my uncle. So do you have, like, a full city or a village set up? Pretty much. Oh, it's so wonderful. The big ones or the small ones? Uh, a combination. We actually we actually go through about every scale there is. Oh, so you're a real collector. Nice to have you here. Chloe Buckwalter, nice to have you here back. Uh, once again, you are a senior in Middletown, and you're interested in biology. Um, is that, uh, did you get inspired from a teacher, or is it, do you, are you looking for a medical career? Um, I, I originally just found something on the internet, and one thing just kind of led to different biological subjects, but I continue to be um, inspired in biology by my uh, biology teacher, Shell. Oh, oh so. good. Good for you giving a shout-out to the teacher. Well, let's hopefully you'll give a shout-out for these three questions as we put Wyatt and Chloe one-on-one. -on -one. The dome is the only ruin that has been left untouched in this Japanese city. What city was destroyed by an atomic bomb August 6, 1945? Chloe. Hiroshima. Hiroshima is absolutely correct for 10 points. The Musée d'Orsay in Paris includes hundreds of paintings by artists like Pissarro, Renoir, and Monet. In what style did they all work? Chloe again. Impressionist. They were all impressionists, yes. And finally, in the midst of the McCarthy communist witch hunts of the 1950s, he wrote a play about the witch trials in Salem, Massachusetts in 1692. Who wrote The Crucible? I know you've read Arthur Miller's The Crucible. Great job for Chloe, really helping your team, 90 to 50. Now let's meet our two captains. First, we're head out to Spring Grove, and we're going to say hello to Adam uh, Prosikovsky, and you are a junior at Spring Grove, and it's great to welcome you back. And uh, you're interested in computer science. You know, that, that is such a growing field, but also very confined in some ways. In, are you interested in building computers or software, developing software? I haven't quite decided yet. However, I'm more leaning towards web development and applications programming. Fantastic. Does Spring Grove offer you opportunities to explore that? Oh, yes. Last year I took a computer programming course. Fantastic. And I'm sure Mrs. Hoffnagel and the gifted program helps you along as well. And now John Hirsch is a captain um, from Middletown and also the twin brother of Lydia. Nice to have you here. And you are a junior, of course. We know that. And uh, you will spend Christmas vacation in Europe, specifically like Italy. How did you end up there? It was my dad's idea. He... Brilliant father that yeah. you have. I don't actually know what led to one thing or another, but we went to Italy. It was just fantastic. What's a big country? Do you have a favorite uh, location? I really liked Rome, but uh, Venice was really cool, too. Now Venice put tears in my eyes, no question. John and Adam, I don't want to put tears in your eyes as we put you two one on one. This six-letter word means to sanction officially or to confirm formally. It's often used to describe the adoption of amendments or treaties. What's the word? John. Gratify. Gratify is the correct answer, yes. The Earth takes 24 hours to rotate 360 degrees. At that rate, how many degrees does it rotate in one hour? Adam? 15. 15. 
15 degrees is absolutely correct. And finally, the key of A minor has no flats or sharps. Which major musical key has no flats or sharps, John? C major. C major does indeed, yes. 100 to 70. As we now meet our third players in today's competition, first from Sp Spring Grove, we're going to say hello to Thompson Dasher Jr. Welcome back. Did very well in that first round of play, and it's great to welcome you back. And uh, you uh, are a reenactor, yeah. but not for the Civil War, but for Well, I do wars. do the Civil War. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, but uh, other wars as well? Yeah, I do the American Revolution, Civil War, and World War II. Do you have a collection of costumes? Uh, well, yeah, I actually have a lot of uniforms. I use um, some original items from the time period and others, high-quality reproductions. What a creative endeavor. I'm intrigued. My Dang is a junior at Middletown, and it's nice to have you back as well. And I understand you were part of a challenge, and it's called the Epi or EPI Challenge? Epi Challenge. Help us elaborate. What, what was that? Um, it's a program sponsored by Penn State Hershey and the National Institute of Health to um, create an interest in the epidemiology field for students. Fantastic. Yes, very, very nice. Thank you for enlightening us. Now let's put my and Thompson one-on-one. -on -one. It was an abbreviation for the National Socialist German Workers' Party in power in Germany from 1933 to 1945. What is this four-letter word? Thompson. Nazi. Nazi, of course, yes. In 2014, they included... Kmart, Home Depot, Target, UPS, Dairy Queen, Goodwill, and Staples. In 2015, it happened to the Federal Office of Personnel Management. What happened to these huge data banks? Mine. They were hacked. They were indeed hacked, yes. And finally, Strong Thurmond holds the Senate record of 24 hours, 18 minutes for continuous talking. What parliamentary tactic allows one man to bring government to a halt? Oh, we stumped you on the oh, yeah. filibuster. Nice game going, 110 to 80 as we meet our final players in today's competition. First from Spring Grove, let us say hello to Caleb Edwards. You are a junior, nice to have you back. And you want to be a teacher. Um, it, 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 enlightened by that, obviously you've been inspired by teachers at Spring Grove? Definitely, yeah. Is, is there a particular subject you're interested in teaching? Um, probably history. History, social studies area and stuff. Are you a good social studies student? Yep. All right, good. You have a favorite teacher that you can model after? Uh, Mr. Baker. Mr. Baker, all right. Good for you for giving a shout out to him. I appreciate that. Shannon Reese is a junior from Middletown. First time here on the set, and I really appreciate you coming. And uh, you hiked down one of the most gorgeous gorges in the world. Tell us about that experience. Uh, yes, yeah, a few years ago, our family went on vacation to the Grand Canyon, and we hiked all the way down to the bottom. That's uh, an endurance test. How did you get back up? We hiked. We hiked back up. All right, I hope you had a lot of water. All right, Shannon and Caleb, I'll pick up those signaling buttons, and let's see how you do as we put you two one-on-one. -on -one. one of Australia's best-known animals faces extinction in the next 30 years. What is this furry marsupial of the... Caleb? Koala is often mistaken for a bear, yes. What's the only nation, Shannon and Caleb, that borders the Black Sea and the White Sea and the Caspian Sea and the Baltic Sea and the Kara Sea and the Bering Sea? Well, the only country we know in that area would be Russia. And finally, the Italian word for time is used to designate the speed at which a piece of music is to be played. Janet? Tempo. Tempo is absolutely correct. 120 to 90, just a narrow division of scores of 30 points. But we're going to pick up the pace now and play today's 60-second team lightning round. So John Hurst, your team is behind at this point, but only by 30 points, as I stated. So you have the luxury of selecting among these three quizzes. We have Where O oh, Where O, oh, The Right Man, and James Gay. Where O oh, Where O? Oh. Where O oh, Where O? Oh. It's not a question of where the answers are. It's just that they all rhyme with Where O. Oh. So for 10 points each, identify the following. John, I take your answers to team's answer. Chloe, Maya, and Shannon are ready to help you along. 60 seconds on the clock, which will begin after I finish reading the first question. So here we go, John. It's Spanish for number. Now, it's correct. Ravel's most popular piece suggests a harem dance or a triumphant parade. Pass. Bolero, the northernmost point in Alaska is this point. Pass. Barrow, it has a head on one end and a knock on the other. Arrow. This lawyer was called the great defender of John Scopes, for example. 
crash. Clarence Darrow, a ruler in ancient Egypt. Pharaoh. Pharaoh is correct. When it was introduced in 1969, the Chevrolet was a compact car. Camaro? No, Camaro. It was Brazil's capital for 200 years. That is correct. Red blood cells are produced in this portion of long bones. Marrow. Marrow is correct. It can precede, gauge, escape, margin, and mind. Marrow. Marrow is correct. A largely shady hat with a broad brim worn in Mexico. Sombrero. Sombrero is correct. This songbird can be brown or green. It's really a finch. Sparrow. Sparrow is correct. Good. A little slow uh, start at the beginning, but then you caught up and did quite well and got seven correct. So 70 points came your way. Spring Grove, it's now up to you. We have the right man and James Gay. The right man. The right man. If you answer, you, uh, you give to each of the following questions. All of them ends in man, M-A-N. You might, of course, have the right man. So for 10 points each, what kind of man is each of these? Now, Adam, I take your answers. The team's answer, Wyatt Thompson and Caleb are ready to help you along. We're putting 60 seconds on the clock, which will begin after I finish reading the first question. So good luck, and here we go. Someone in the first year of high school or college. Freshman. That is correct. In football, a center, guard, or tackle. Lineman. Lineman is correct. Christian Bale played this man in 2005, Batman. 8 and 12. Batman. Batman is correct. Someone who lives in Hamburg or Dusseldorf or Berlin. Yeah, uh, German. German is correct. Uh, any organism of the species Homo sapiens. Human. Human, yes. It's another name for a Viking. Norseman. Uh, Norseman. Norseman is correct. Although a senator is also one, it usually refers to a representative. Congressman. Congressman is correct. In this paper and pencil game, you guess vowels and consonants. Hangman, a member of the colonial militia ready to fight on short notice. Minuteman. Minuteman is correct. It can precede, candle, empire, Catholic, and numeral. Roman. Roman is correct. A jack of all trades, someone who does odd jobs. Handyman. Handyman is correct. After the Civil War, this was an emancipated slave. Freeman. Freeman or freedmen, yes. The home of Washington State University or a railroad car you can sleep on. Pullman. Pullman is correct. The title character of this 15th century play could be anyone, and that was every man. So excellent teamwork was demonstrated. We had 12 correct, so 120 points came your way, 240 to 160. It's now time to reveal today's bonus brain buster category, and that's the periodic table. So our teams will wager from 0 to 25 points based on their knowledge of the periodic table while you watch these very important messages. Hello, everybody. Welcome back as we continue our match between Spring Grove and Middletown. But before we continue, we would love for you to play along with our viewer question of the week. See if you know the answer to this question. This Italian painter, born about 1488, is generally regarded as the leading painter of the Venetian school. Who painted the worship of Venus, the Bacchanal, and Bacchus and Ariadne? Now, if you know the answer, here's what you need to do. Go to WGAL.com slash BrainBusters to answer the viewer question of the week. One randomly drawn winner with the correct answer will receive this prize pack. And plus, you can email me with any questions or comments you have about our show. So please, do go on to the website. All right, let's get back into the game. Now, Spring Grove has a slight lead of 240, but hey, Middletown is in there beautifully with 160. But let's see if everybody can turn the a fortune around for themselves as we head into today's bonus brain buster. During our break, our teams wagered from 0 to 25 points based on their knowledge of the periodic table. That's a common uh, topic for high schoolers. Jerry Gish has today's question. Jerry? Thanks, Rich. And now here's your bonus brain buster question. In 1894, a new element was discovered, a gas that didn't combine with any other element. Historically and alphabetically, what's the first noble gas. Again, in 1894, a new element was discovered, a gas that didn't combine with any other element. Historically and alphabetically, what's this first noble gas? Good luck with your answer. Now back to Studio A. Rich. Thanks, Jerry. Good luck, teams. We'll give you about five seconds. Okay, time's up. We'll wait for everybody. I know my, obviously, you're the better, have better penmanship, so that's okay that you wrote it down. We always start with this side. So, Adam, we're not sure. Did you get it right? You did. Argon. Good for you. 20-point wager, taking you to 260. My, John, and T Argon, also correct. 15 points, taking you to 175. 260 to 175. Still anybody's game. Who's going to come back for round three? Well, we're going to find out real shortly, because all the marbles are coming up right now with today's final friends. 
frenzy. This time, 20 point questions. In 2014, concert pianist Alice Hurt Summer, she died at the age of 110. She was the oldest known survivor of this, also called Shoah or catastrophe. What word means complete burning? John. Holocaust. Holocaust is correct for 20 points. Jerome Bettis, Junior Sayo, Charles Haley, Mick Tinglehoff, and Will Shields all entered this Hall of Fame in 2015. What Tom said, Football Hall of Fame, they are the Professional Football Hall of Fame. You are correct. It is the measure of the total disorder or randomness in a system. Adam. Entropy. Entropy is correct. In 2014, this astrophysicist updated Carl Sagan's 1980 series. Thompson. Stephen Hawking. No, it was not he. I'm going to complete the question for Middletown with Cosmos, a space-time odyssey. Who is this former Nova host? John. Neil Tyson DeGrasse. He's the one, yes. Founded in 1608 by Samuel, Samuel de Champlain. This Canadian city is located in Quebec. Quebec is, yes. It begins, let us go then, you and I, and talks of eating peaches and hearing mermaids sing. Complete the title of T.S. Eliot's poem, The Love Song of... Wyatt? The sailor? No, sorry. Middletown, any idea? Mine? The ocean? No, sorry. It's the love song of J. Alfred Prufrock. From 1912 to 1922, it fought a civil war for home rule and an independent parliament. In 1922, Thompson? Greece? No, sorry. In 1922, Middletown, it became a free state. What European country is it, John? Sorry, it's Ireland is the correct answer. He was called the father of the hydrogen bomb and was a passionate supporter. Adam? Oppenheimer? No, it's not he. And, an, uh, uh, and I'm going to complete the question for Middletown. And a passionate supporter of Ronald Reagan's Star Wars missile defense system. Who was the scientist who liked to blow things up? We sound to on Edward Teller. Yokozuna is the highest rank in this sport. The name Adam? Sumo. Sumo. The name literally means horizontal rope, which comes from the most visible symbol of their rank, the rope around their waist. It got its name from one of its cheap, chief trading products. What is this East African country which borders Liberia, Guinea, Mali, and Ghana? Shannon? India? Not India, no. Oh, sorry. Spring Grove? Adam. The Ivory Coast. The Ivory Coast is correct. On December 22nd, 1864, General Sherman sent a telegram to Abraham Lincoln saying he was sending this city as a Christmas present. What city was it? Why? Atlanta. It was not Atlanta. Oh, no, sorry. Middletown, Shannon. Washington, D.C. No, you're both incorrect. Sorry, it was Savannah. H.L. Mencken claimed this president put the first bathtub in the White House, and that's about all he's famous for. Who? Thompson. Taft. Not Taft. No, sorry. Who followed? Shannon. Tommy. Pardon me? Harriet Tubman. No, sorry. We follow Zachary Taylor. It was Millard Fillmore. One of Claude Debussy's most famous piano compositions is an impressionistic musical picture of Moonlight. What did Debussy call it? I know you've heard the piece called Claire de Lune. On The Simpsons, Marge, Principal Skinner, and Sideshow Bob have all been arrested and worn the same number, 24601. It's the number worn by the criminal Jean Valjean in this Victor Hugo novel. What novel is it? Adam. Les Miserables. Les Miserables. With that correct answer, Adam, that um, takes us to the end of the round and to the end of the game. It looks like we're going to see Spring Grove for round three, but we hope to see you in a short moment or two. Hi, thanks for staying with us. Congratulations, Spring Grove. Boy, they had an early lead, and they were not going to let it go. Now, we say goodbye to Middletown, and I hope they had as much fun as we did witnessing their performance. We're going to see Spring Grove again for round three, but who are they going to play? We're going to find out on the next Brain Busters. It's either going to be Mechanicsburg or DeLone Catholic. They're ready to challenge each other. That's going to be a very exciting game, and we hope to have the pleasure of your company as well. We'll see you then. So long. Thank you very much. Thank you.